This time, we go straight to the Sea of Japan. Spanning between Shimane and Totori Prefecture is Aishima Ohashi, Japan's most terrifying looking bridge. The closest major access point is Yonago, the crossroads of the Sanin area. It's a short train ride from there to Sakai Minato, and then to the bridge. The Aishima Ohashi looks innocent until you get down there. Why is it terrifying? This! 6.1% grade slope on the Shimane side, 5.1% on the Totori side. 250 meters of concrete in the middle, making it the world's third longest ramen bridge, number one in Japan. The angle is deceptive. It looks like it's not finished. Cars falling off the top, plummeting into the sea below. Cars can cross the roller coaster bridge for free. So can bicyclers and runners too. One of the longest arching bridges in the world. Now that's a challenge. The Aishima Ohashi is 1.4 kilometers long. The look of the slope has made this bridge world famous. I rented a bicycle to scope out this civil engineer's dream come true. So here I am right here. We're gonna start the climb. And uh, from this angle, it looks like, like a stairway to heaven or <laughs> something like that. Now on the left side, there's a walkway, but bicycles aren't allowed to uh, enter that. So we have to stay on this white line so there's maybe about 20 centimeters separating me and the car, or truck. Here we go. From the bottom looking up, it's like staring at the top of a skyscraper. Well, the only way to summit is to pedal this bicycle. How hard can it be? Okay, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Whew. Now the, I just started and I'm tired. <laughs> so why'd they make this bridge, you ask? It needed to be high enough to allow large ships to pass under. However, the waterway really isn't that wide. I'm sure some civil engineers enjoyed themselves making this one. I don't know, these cars to the right are a little bit too close for comfort. Approximately 15,000 vehicles cross this bridge every day. There aren't any statistics on bicycles yet. I can see the goal up ahead. Almost there. Almost there means the real hard part is about to start. Fatigue has started to set in. About 100 meters to go to the top. My legs are gone. But the view is awesome. Try to keep, keep it steady. All right. There's an observation point normally for walkers. Great views all the way to Mount Daisen. It took five minutes to get to the top. And you have quite a view. I can see all the way to Daisen and Yonago City. The buses and trucks whizzing by are just a little bit scary. So as soon as, as soon as this big truck goes by, we're gonna go to the downhill. Whoa! That's a big truck. Better let this traffic go by. I wonder if locals get a thrill at the top as they drive down towards Totori Prefecture. Roller Coaster Bridge is its nickname. Me? It's about to get real again. This is the very top looking down the other side. Oh, this is just like a roller coaster. You get to the very top, there's a second where everything slows down, and then it just goes down. 
All that hard work to get up here and here's your reward or penalty depends on how good your brakes are and the condition of your bicycle. One mistake and the rider can go over the handlebars onto the road. Let's not think about disasters though. The view is just too good to ignore. What goes up must come down, and if your stuff is on the other side, you get to do it again. The slope on this side isn't as bad. It's easier to enjoy the view. Now going back down, this thing is scary. Why am I doing this again? Six one, six point one percent. Great downhill. Looks like I'm going straight into the sea. The bicycle kept gaining speed. The posted speed limit on this bridge is 40 kilometers an hour. I have a feeling I was exceeding that. Oh. <laughs> I'm pedaling and nothing's moving. I'm going so fast. <laughs> this is awesome. Back on the ground, it felt as though I'd won the Tour de France or something. Then I started to wonder, what's it like to run this thing? Yeah, let's do this. I'm halfway there. You can see behind me. For runners looking to pick a fight, Aishima Ohashi presents a challenge. For hardcore runners, this could even be considered paradise, something that we just love. It's here, I'm here. This amazing bridge needs to be conquered. The view, spectacular. I reached the top in about three minutes. Down we go to the Totori side. The slope is still steep, but curves a bit. All right, let's go back up. Remember that thing I said about this being like a runner's paradise? And something that we just love? I take that back, man. This is harder than I thought. Keep going. Woo! The sea, that's the goal. The Shimane side has this steeper slope, remember? It's like a ski jump, minus the skis and snow. I'm not even controlling my legs. They're just going. This is kind of scary. I can't stop myself. 2.8 kilometers complete in 14 minutes, 10 seconds. Oh. What a run. This bridge is amazing. So, if you come to Yonago, for the siding area you have to come to, Ishima Ohashi. Whether you're gonna drive through it, you're gonna walk it, you're gonna bike it, or you're gonna run it, you gotta come here. It's awesome. The Ishima Ohashi Bridge looks terrifying, steep as hell. Makes some cry for their mama. Others just makes you sweat. Do you hear that? It calls to be conquered. Do you accept the challenge? As for me, Mission complete, almost. Yonago is also famous for Kaike Onsen, a hot spring that's right on the beach. But if you don't have a lot of time, there's a free foot bath for all to enjoy. And a free towel, that's Japan for you. The water is geothermally heated, full of minerals. 
perfect after a day of physical challenges. Shed those shoes and socks and let the healing begin. <sighs> what an end to another awesome adventure in Japan.